All right, you guys, today we're going to continue how to make a generated mockups here in Adobe Firefly. And today we're going to generate a bottle mockups using Illustrator and Firefly. Okay, so let's start in Illustrator. And now first I'm going to create a bottle. So I'm going to click on the fill, click on the non, click on the stroke. So it's going to be on the top. Let's go and select the pen tool. And I'm going to go start creating here at the center a bottle. Doesn't need to be perfect. I'm just going to eyeball it. And I'm going to go right here where they intersect at the middle part. Now I'm going to go and select the direct selection tool. I'm going to select this anchor point and pull the circle to make it more rounded. And I'm also going to make this rounded a little bit more. I'm going to select it again, select the pen tool. And I'm going to add here four more anchor points. And I'm going to select the direct selection tool and bring them out and go right. I'm going to make this part around it as well. And now I'm going to recolor the stroke to some gray color to make it more lighter. And now I'm going to go to the 3D materials and select revolve. Now we're going to go to a left edge to a right edge. And this is how you make a bottle of wine. But right now, as you can see, it looks kind of ugly. So we're going to need to model that, stylize it a little bit more. And first I'm going to select it and scroll down and we're going to reset the XYZ rotation to zero, zero, zero. So now we can see perfectly from the front. I'm going to select the direct selection tool. And as you can see here, the strokes, we still can modify it. Now we also might want a thicker neck. So I'm going to go select these, press the left arrow and this way is going to make it more thicker. I also want to add some perspective. Let's go to the 3D materials. And here we get the perspective, increase it. And you're going to make it more rounded. Look at that. And let's go and tilt the Z rotation here. So it's going to look something like this. We're also going to need to add a label on this. So I'm going to deselect. I'm going to go swap the stroke to fill. Click on the fill to be on the top. I'm going to choose a white color and I'm going to select the rectangle, create a rectangle like that. And let's go to the symbols, drag this rectangle into the symbols. Click OK. Now you can delete it. Now we can select the bottle again, go to 3D materials, materials here, and let's go to the graphics and scroll down. And here we got the new symbol that we created. And it looks something like this. Now I'm going to surround the bottle with some wood. And from here, we're going to start drawing the wood. And we're going to do that with a pencil. So let's go and select the pencil here. But first, let's double click on it and make sure to decrease the smoothness all the way down somewhere here. Click OK. And now I'm going to go and just draw some lines like this, make it connect. And I'm going to do the same thing vertically. Now I'm going to go and swap them from stroke to fill. Also, if you want to check out how it looks exactly on the artboard, you can go and click on view and select trim view. Now we're going to also recolor these. Let's go to properties, fill, add some new colors. Now we're going to export it as a JPEG. Now let's go into Adobe Firefly, click on generate. Let's go and clear up the prompt. Let's go and press on clear, scroll up and I can change the aspect ratio to portrait. Click on photo. And here we got the reference image, click on upload image. And I got to go with this clean version that I created. Click on open, continue, make sure to increase the strength to 100%. Scroll down, I got to go and select the hyper realistic color and tone, change it to warm. Then the lighting, I got to go with the studio light. And now but least let's go and click on the prompt. And we're going to type in bottle of wine with brown cracked wood. And let's go and click on try prompt. Now, as you can see, it does it vice versa. So the wood is in the center, unfortunately. So we're gonna need to customize it a little bit. Bottle of wine is surrounded with brown cracked wood. Let's see what happens. So with the surrounded prompt, it seems like it works. And this one actually came out pretty good. I'm gonna download it. Now, in order to generate these correct options 100%, you can go to edit and select use a style reference. Now let's go and click on generate again. As you can see, it included the prompt right here. And now we got all four 100% successfully. And pretty much this is how you make these mockups using Adobe Firefly and Illustrator. Thanks for watching.